and welcome to the Dittonworks YouTube channel. That was obviously the 1960s soundtrack to the film The Magnificent Seven, which is probably the first film I saw with loads of heroic characters that unfortunately slowly but surely don't make it all the way to the end of the film. That recipe has been copied loads of times. I think of films like Predator or Aliens that have that same kind of idea that you've got particular characters you really, really want to see at the end of the film, but unfortunately don't make it. But The Magnificent Seven wasn't actually the first film to do that. The Magnificent Seven is a copy of Akira Kurosawa's The Seven Samurai, which is a Japanese film. And the reason I'm mentioning that is today we're gonna to talk about a Japanese piece of equipment from AccuFace. Accuphase is an amalgamation of the two words accurate and phase, which Jiro Kasuga decided were two very important factors in the audio world. So he started in 1972 the company Accuphase. He was working with Kenwood and actually felt frustrated with the direction that Kenwood were going. So he took some engineers from Kenwood and engineers from another famous company called Luxman and started AccuPhase. So let's have a closer look at this absolutely beautiful piece of Japanese equipment. Okay, first of all, this beautiful finish. This is incredibly well engineered. Everything has a real solid feel to it. So this door, just beautiful smooth operation, lovely, perfect fit. The um, input selector, really really chunky feel to it and if we do that on the cd or the, on the remote i should say that's just glorious how that all works absolutely fantastic this obviously is the feature that most people absolutely love is seeing these vu meters I can remember the first amplifier I ever had with these that I would just stare at those for ages and ages. This display is obviously you're able to turn it on and off, but who would not want to run that on and illuminate the room? Absolutely beautiful. So we've got loads and loads and loads to discuss on this. This is a seriously competent piece of equipment. So not only is the fit and finish incredible, the specification of it is phenomenal as well. This is also the first piece of equipment I've ever come across where they actually underquote the output. So instead of lying and saying the output is 200 watts when it's really 150, they say that the output is 180 when it's really nearer 200. That's pretty, pretty unique, to be honest with you. That's understating the amplifier, which also means you're not going to be disappointed with the output of this. You have multiple, multiple ways of connecting this up. I'm not going to show you the back because it'll be a very weird camera angle, but this has got XLR inputs, line level inputs, four speaker terminal out so you can run A or B or A plus B, which is how I'm running it at the minute. So it's fully by wired. I think this is, as a single box, a phenomenal piece of equipment. So let me now discuss how I've connected it up. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the technical information on this amplifier. All of that information is readily available from Acuface Laboratories online. And it makes for interesting reading. It's every single component on this piece of equipment throughout their range, to be honest with you, has highly been considered. There's a picture online of a whole pile of various different capacitors and components that have been used in this amplifier to absolutely maximize wherever they can. So let me discuss how I've used it and try and explain how this amplifier has made me feel. So the first thing I did when I got it home was to plug in my Funk Firm sorted SL1210 Mark II straight out the back and into the phono stage on the amplifier. Now, Another thing that's absolutely incredible on these is you have the option to fit in what look like sort of sound cards, if you like, that slot into the back of this amplifier. You've got option one and option two 
function control on the front, which engage these cards that you can insert later on if you wish. So the amplifier doesn't come with the phono stage necessarily, you can add it later on, which means if you're never gonna use vinyl, why bother spending the extra money on a component already fitted in the amp if you're never gonna use it? So at a later date, you could buy the external phono stage that you then fit and it becomes an internal phono stage. You can do the same thing with a DAC as well. I believe it's called a DAC 60. Now, this has been fitted by Signals Hi-Fi. Andy fitted it for me before I brought the amplifier home with that phono stage. So out of my Technics, straight into the phono stage. Played a couple of my favourite records and the very first track that played, I was absolutely gobsmacked by the sheer quality in the sound coming out of my speakers. Now, I'm pretty familiar with my Spendor Classic 2.3s. They are a speaker I really, really like, but I don't think I've ever heard the full potential of those speakers until I plug this piece of equipment in. Now, my turntable, although it has got the aftermarket parts from Funk Firm and a fairly decent Autophon 2M black cartridge, that's by no means a high-end turntable, but it sounded phenomenal. The next thing I did was just plug in my Blue Sound Node 2i using its own internal DAC and running regular RCA cables straight into the CD input of the Accuphase amplifier and started playing streaming tracks. And again, I was just absolutely gobsmacked at the tonal quality of this piece of equipment. I then had a whole array of different experiments to try, so I can't plug my CD player straight into the back of the Accuphase amplifier because it hasn't got the separate DAC in option two slot. Now, how I did it was my TAC straight into my benchmark and then started using the balanced outputs into the Accuphase. And again, it just took my CD my DAC through my speakers to a whole different level. I also meant I was able to quickly switch using the Blue Sound node, which I ran phono wires into the input and into my DAC and then balanced in to quickly switch between the two. And that was a really good test for my benchmark DAC because it actually blew away the internal DAC on the Blue Sound node 2i. So I know I'm heading in the right direction. The next thing I tried, because there was a massive difference here between this integrated amplifier and my Quad Artera Pre running into my Meridian Power, I thought, let's try the Accuphase running as a preamp. So I used the balanced XLR pre-outs and ran it into the Meridian. The Accuphase is a phenomenal preamp as well. That took my Meridian Power Amp to the next level. I will openly admit that running the Accuphase as a pre into my Meridian honestly didn't sound as good as just using the Accuphase with its internal amplification standing alone by itself. It is absolutely spectacular. There's no other way of explaining it. The warmth in the bass, the control in the bass, the lack of coloration throughout any of the frequencies and I don't want to make it sound like it's boring because it isn't. It's far from that. I have been tapping my feet, nodding my head and absolutely hammering through virtually every record I own, virtually every CD I own, multiple streaming tracks that I've never heard before. I just couldn't stop listening to this piece of equipment. OK, there is one drawback and that is the price. <laughs> At £8,000, this is quite an expensive piece of equipment. That piece of equipment actually probably outweighs the combined value of my entire system. But it would be well worth it. It would be well worth it. I don't know if there's a way of putting a price to experience, but if you've bought this thing, you could have it forever. So if you worked out what £8,000 is over 20 years of enjoyment, that actually doesn't work out at a lot of money. Could I buy it? No, I can't afford £8,000 on a single piece of equipment. I just couldn't justify doing it. But after listening to this, I don't think I'm going to be able to listen to my system for a good week. I'm going to have to have total audio silence for a whole week to get over this experience to be able to go back to listening to mine and enjoying it. And my system isn't rubbish. I quite enjoy my system, but it's in no way 
anywhere near as good as this AccuFace amplifier. This got me thinking about a few things that my original journey into hi-fi actually started with Japanese equipment. The front end was Japanese and I've always, nearly always had British loudspeakers. And that got me thinking, perhaps that is a very, very good combination because the Japanese sound, some people class as being a little bit brighter or a little bit more detailed and lacking some of that warmth that British equipment has, maybe lacking some musicality. I grew up listening to that kind of sound. So we've got what is explained as a Japanese sound, but I've always had the British sound in loudspeakers. And it got me thinking, maybe the British front end, British speakers with Japanese front end is a combination that I really like. Um, because actually I haven't got a true British system. My Technics is Japanese turntable. The TAC is a Japanese CD player or CD transport. My DAC is actually American, my preamp's British, my power amp's British, and my speakers are British. And each of those separate components, eliminating the pre and power in my system out of the equation and running the AccuFace was just a match made in heaven for me. And I'm sure if you plugged the AccuFace CD player or bought the AccuFace external DAC card that slides into the back, you'd be just improving it and improving it and improving it. I actually can't wait to go and visit Signals next time and um, ask them if I can have a listen to the complete AccuFace setup because this piece of equipment was just special, absolutely special, phenomenally musical, very detailed, incredible control. And in all honesty, running through my speakers had a very warm tonality to it that I really enjoyed. I'm gonna chuck up a couple of sound clips and I'm gonna keep this on the movie theme because that's how this video started. And um, by all means, I will just check out AccuFace website and read through the meticulous effort they've gone to. I'll put a link in the comments to their page. I'll put some in the description as well. The, what a piece of equipment, what an experience. I've thoroughly enjoyed listening to what is to be honest with you, a pretty high-end piece of equipment, and it just didn't disappoint me in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Everything I listened to, I loved. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's cut to a few sound clips. You guys can have a listen to it. Take care, I'll catch up with you soon.